Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante, rising up from the darkness of the corruption of Gotham. Comes a bat-like creature with the wings of truth, swooping in on the lies of the ruling class, on the racists, on the fascists, and shaves your knuckles for justice. Well, guess what? A federal judge has basically said, has come out and been critical in a ruling against the cops overreacting to all of the George Floyd protests around the country. Federal judge says smashing windows and spraying graffiti is fair trade if it means protesters' bones aren't broken by the police. Wait, what? <laughs> Judge R. Brooke Jackson said, if a store's windows must be broken to prevent a protester's facial bones from being broken or eye being permanently damaged, that is more than a fair trade. I've talked about this since it happened. I almost got, I, I got into a physical confrontation with a guy in Santa Monica because I was like, look, I don't, I'm, I'm not happy. Loot, looting happened in my town. There's smashed up windows in my city less than a mile from where I live. A store four blocks from me got hit. And some of them were small businesses, and that breaks my heart. I don't want any small business owners to lose their business. That's awful. What bothered me was the media talking about, like, that's the worst thing that happened. They didn't talk about the police brutality. They didn't talk about the cops escalating it. They didn't talk about white nationalists that have smashed windows, undercover cops that have smashed windows. And even, even if the windows were smashed by protesters, they didn't talk about the economic reasons that created it, and they make it that they don't talk about the looting that Wall Street does. And I'm sorry. It's like George Floyd getting murdered. That's the worst thing that's ever happened. The looting is bad. And I'm sorry that it happened, but let's address the, what, what caused this and, and just letting the cops do whatever they want, and this judge is calling it out. Jackson wrote that he does not agree with property damage during the protests, neither do I, but that the threat to physical safety and free speech outweighs the threat to property. Whoa, are you sure you're a judge in capitalist America? That's the thing, people act like getting, losing property is like the worst crime. That's why America's like, someone's gonna steal from me, I'm gonna shoot them. You really wanna kill someone because they stole something from, like, I don't want anyone to break in and steal my stuff, but I'm like, I don't want to kill, what am I, take this TV, I don't want to kill you for it, like what? Wow, a judge with some common sense. The threat to physical safety and free speech outweighs the threat to property. Yeah, so if we're gonna choose property, free speech, or physical safety, guess what? Property should be in the back seat. You shouldn't get your head kicked in by cops or you shouldn't be shot with rubber bullets or have a cop car run you over. And freedom of speech is the cornerstone of our democracy, is it not? The First Amendment, am I wrong? So if we gotta choose, hooray for this judge. Wow, a judge that actually gets the law and the Constitution. He added some action by police in the city and across the country as being disgusting. Thank you. And the bullshit corporate media, they're going to have this judge on? Is Tucker Carlson going to interview him? Is CNN going to interview him? CBS, the local CBS affiliate in Los Angeles, all they do is kiss LAPD's ass. L they won't acknowledge a judge in had to call out how disgusting the baby. Eric Garcetti won't. Well, the mayors of all these cities won't say that it was disgusting how the police acted. Because they need the cop union to get reelected. Don't stand on the right side of things. Just, you know, weasel and snake and shift your way into getting position to get reelected. I don't want, I, I want Eric Garcetti out of this city. I want the, the police chief, Michael Moore, he needs to be fired immediately and go on trial. He said the Denver police failed in its duty to police its own. A federal judge said this. 
This is significant. And this is what protesting and pressure, political pressure does. I don't know what this guy's record is. I don't know what his, I don't know this judge at all. I don't know anything about him other than this article. Maybe he's always been like this. Great. But I bet you he watched and woke up and went, man. And I don't know how you watch all these videos after videos of cops just beating the shit out of people and not go, what is, this is completely, our cops are out of control. In Philadelphia, they pinned those people and just shot tear gas at them. There's videos in a city where they're slashing the tires of media people. The cops are doing that. There's videos in another, in Boston or something where they're smashing water. Medics set up water and there's, they're sticking knives in bottles of water. They didn't want protesters to have water. That is disgusting. It's immoral and it's illegal and it's unconstitutional. And if you're a cop and you're not disgusted by this and you're going to back the badge no matter what, then I got nothing to say to you. You're part of the problem. You are part of the problem. Don't give me this few bad apples nonsense. No, -uh, no, no. This past week and a half, two weeks has shown there's not a few bad apples. It is a complete problem. Civilian, this is what happens when you don't have civilian oversight. They can do whatever the fuck they want. When they get unlimited funding and they're militarized, this is what happens. So hats off to this judge for doing the right thing. Shave your knuckles for justice. I wonder if he'll be interviewed on corporate media. Probably not. I'd like to talk to him if he's available. Make Gotham great again. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad-free. Thanks for watching.